Do you remember Adele from my previous videos, especially the one where I clipped half of her body and hand stripped the other half? Well, we are on our walk and when we get home, I'm going to bathe her and then I'm going to cut her undercoat and see what it does to the coat. Hi, I'm Itka. Happy Dog Mom to five mischievous terriers. I've always been passionate about dogs and being in the pet industry for over 30 years, including winning international dog grooming competitions, representing England and being placed at the World Team Championship and winning Dog Grooming Salon of the Year award. The knowledge I gained over the years plus my diplomas in canine massage and clinical aromatherapy have uh, led me to be the proud founder of Vitacanis, aromatherapy products for dogs and their owners. Here at Vitacanis, we help you to naturally and organically improve the health and happiness of your dog. So please subscribe to my channel. So we are back from our walk and before I start cutting um, Adol's coat, I'm going to give her a bath and I'm going to share a little tip with you uh, I learned recently. If you are using a hydro bath or your shower is very powerful and your dog may be a little bit scared or doesn't like the sound or water pressure or you, you're bathing a puppy, you can put a towel over the shower head, use the rubber band and it will make the water pressure less strong. And more enjoyable, especially for a puppy or a small dog. So before I start carding uh, Adele's coat, I just do general health check. I'm going to check her ears, her parts between the toes and her nails. I checked her skin uh, when I was bathing her. I noticed a uh, little patch over here, little bald patch. Um, I don't know what it is. I haven't seen her nibbling or scratching while you know she's in the house. So I just apply a little bit of uh, skin relief. It's a spray for itchy skin, and we'll see how she's going to react to that. Um, so as I said, I'm going to check her ears. Um, doing a general health check is um, very easy to do while, uh, while you're bathing your dog because you can see the skin especially if you have a really hairy dog the uh, water and the dry will open the coat and you can see the skin really well so ears are easy to check we are looking for a discharge or a smell or excessive wax dirt uh, if you want to learn more about e-cleaning, check my video here. And for now, I'll just apply a few drops of the e-cleaner on a cotton wool and wipe the outside of the inner ear. I do this every week or every about 10 days. So there's not much, just a little bit of that's all and I'm going to use another piece of cotton good girl and wipe her on the ear good girl really good now I'm going to check uh, Adele's nails they are pretty short because I keep uh, trimming them every about week, every about 10 days, depends usually when I bathe her and the rest of my dogs. Uh, after bathing the nails are a little bit softer so they are easy to do. My dogs run mostly in the fields, in the woods, so their nails need attention, they need to be trimmed because they don't wear off, uh, you know, like uh, if the dog is walking on the pavement. So I need to keep an eye on it and I need to tip them off 
more of them. If you want to learn how to trim the dog's nails safely and quickly, check my video here. Now when adults um, paws are nice and clean and her toes, it's easy to see if she has any lumps or any redness between her toes. Now it's beautiful. Good girl. And good girl. And now also check her parts. They're nice and smooth. And the hair between the parts is nice and short. I trimmed them I think about a couple of weeks ago. But if you want to learn how to trim the hair uh, between the parts, check my video here. So this part of the body, the right side of Adele is hand stripped, or it was hand stripped three weeks ago. And we can see uh, the other coat. And also, I don't know if you can see it probably here, um, there is some new coat coming through. So encourage the growth of the new coat, top coat. Uh, I'm going to cut her undercoat and I'm going to use a fine carding knife. Um, this is Greyhound uh, carding knife and you can get it from Purple Paws. So when we carding, we stretch the skin and we drag the knife through the coat because the undercoat is quite thin there's not much coming so you can also use fine or extra fine stripping knife and just gently remove some of the undercoat there's not loads coming out as you can see however it is making a difference the area is getting a bit darker here When we're carding the coat in this stage, you have to be very careful because the coat is thin and it will be very easy to scratch the skin. So just pay attention, take your time. And you see if I keep carding here, the area is getting a bit darker. So the darker coat is the top coat we want to encourage to grow. Good care. So this is the uh, left side of Adele's body <clears throat> and this side was clipped. Um, so this side is a little bit paler, the coat is thicker and probably we'll be able to cut more undercoat out. So you can see we're getting more out and with each stroke the color is improving. As I say, it's very important to strip a bit itchy spot here. <laughs> Good girl. So we're getting a little bit more out. Again, you can use extra fine stripping knife even the stripping stone is very good got an itchy spot here there's nothing on the skin so i think she will benefit from some massage we'll do later hey good girl so even on the clipped part you can uh, even if you clip the dog you can still improve the quality, uh, the texture and the color of the coat with carding. Now I have a little tip for you. If your dog is not very keen on the grooming procedure, try Licky Mat. I put a little bit of soft cheese on Licky Mat, even though Adele is really good on the table. Uh, why not to reward her for being good? So while she's enjoying um, soft cheese, I could easily like check her paws, trim her nails, brush her legs.
comb her legs, check her all over. Because the licking um, is very soothing, it releases oxytocin, like a feel good hormone, and also it will distract the dog a little bit from what you're doing. So, I done had a nice bath, health check, done her ears, her nails, checked her parts, and now she's enjoying a little bit of soft cheese from the licking mat. Uh, what I didn't do today, and we normally do, I didn't clean her teeth. So uh, I hope you join me next week when I'll show you how to clean dog's teeth. Thanks for watching, and remember, keep aromatherapy.